five simple steps to starting the business of your dreams with no money. Today I'm sharing my steps for starting the business of your dreams when you have absolutely no money whatsoever to invest in a business. And I am also sharing my story of how I started a six figure business that reached six figures within months when I was totally broke and I didn't have any money whatsoever to invest in a business. And no, it didn't require taking out a loan either. Are you interested in starting a new business, but you're reluctant because you don't feel like you've got enough money to start a business? Believe it or not, you can start any type of business with absolutely no money. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that today. There are five steps involved in starting any type of business. So the steps I'm going to share with you can apply to any type of business. And this will give you a great overview on all of the steps that you could take to start a business. And it will give you the confidence that you need to take that very first step because you can see a roadmap of what's involved in the process. And I am going to share how I started my very first business with no money at all. And when I started my business, I was also very busy with my first baby and had no prior business experience. I had never set up a business before, never attempted a business before. And this proves how accessible the world is right now for anyone to start a business, even if you have no experience, no time, and no money and I am focusing on the money today, the no money, because it doesn't matter what you don't have at the moment. You can definitely make any of your desires a reality. And just so you know, I have recorded three versions of this content. I have written a blog post and the blog post contains all the links. So I'm going to mention quite a lot of links in this content. So if you click around this content piece, click on the link to the blog post, you will be able to get all of the links that I'm mentioning in this content there. There's also a video summary as well. So you can choose whatever type of media works for you best. Today, you will discover number one, how to set goals for your business that align with your desires. Number two, how to make a plan for business that leads to success. Number three, how to manifest business success, even if you have no money. Number four, how to create an offer for your business with no money. And number five, how to market and sell your offer with no money. My name is Kath Kyle and I'm the author of Stamp Goals book. And I'm so happy that you're here. I help content creators and change makers manifest business success through spirituality, self-belief and strategy. And I help you master your marketing, manifestation and money mindset. So have you ever wanted to start a business yourself? Or maybe you want to branch out into a new type of business, but you don't even feel like you've got enough money to start a second business. I would love to know what your business ideas are. So let me know by leaving me a comment on my blog, YouTube channel, or sending me a DM on Instagram at Kath underscore Kyle. So now I just want to briefly share my story with you. So how I started the business of my dreams with no money. When I started my very first business, I had no time, no experience and no money. We just had our first baby and money was very tight and we didn't have any spare money at all. And I've shared this story before, but so I'm not going to share it in detail again. But I just wanted to briefly mention that as we didn't even have money to buy our kids new clothes or new equipment, I certainly wouldn't have had the money to put towards a new business. And we didn't have any savings at the time. So taking money out of savings to start a new business wasn't even an option for us. And I decided to start my first business around a blog. And the reason why I chose a blog is because it is free to start a blog. You can start it for absolutely no money whatsoever. And I personally love to write and to teach. So this seems like a perfect fit for me. And many people start blogs and they don't make any money. 
but I had done my research and I found loads of other people who had made lots of money through blogging. So that inspired me to know what was possible and to know that I was going to commit to this and really put all of my effort into it. And I just felt like if they could achieve it, then so could I. And I really hope that you get the same motivation from my own story that I'm sharing with you right now. So yes, blogging is technically free. And if you use a free wordpress.com account, you can set up a blog for free. So there is absolutely no barrier to setting up a blog whatsoever. You don't need to invest a single penny. But did I invest a single penny? Yes, I did invest a very small amount because I discovered very quickly that these free blogging accounts had some major limitations. But it's not something that you can't overcome. You can overcome these limitations if you literally have no money. But I discovered that I would rather invest a small amount of money and I'll share where I got this from in a minute. So the biggest limitation was that you don't actually own your own blog. Your domain name, which is like the address that you type in to get to the blog in the first place, my domain name is kathkyle.com. That domain name doesn't belong to you when you start a free blog. It will have the company name within the address. So I can't remember what it's like, but it'll be something like kathkyle wordpress blog.com or something like that. I can't remember what the exact words that they put in it, but it is, they, they do put the company name in it. So therefore the domain name doesn't belong to you and you can't move it somewhere else. So that means that technically, although this probably wouldn't happen, but your blog could be taken away from you at any time. The company has the right to do this, although I've never heard of them actually doing this. And um, in the future, you can it is possible to set up a free blog and you can forward your content. You can put it somewhere else. You can forward your domain to another domain in the future, but this can cause problems because if you are getting traffic from say Google and the traffic has been sent to one domain name, and then all of a sudden you're trying to send the traffic to another domain name, you could, um, cause Google a bit of confusion and you might lose all of your traffic. So it is a risk to start a 100% free blog. It's not to say you can't do it. You definitely can do it. But if you feel like at some point in the future, you will want to own your own domain name, then it would probably be better just to try and find the very tiny amount of money that you will need to start a blog that you actually own and control. And I decided that having my own domain name was something that I absolutely had to have. And buying a a domain name itself is fairly cheap. It only costs you around $10. Um, You might even get one a lot less if you don't want a .com and you're willing to have any type of domain name, then it might cost you a lot less than that. But if you um, use your own domain name for your own website, there is also another cost that you have to pay for. You also have to pay to host your website yourself. So these were two expenses that I did need to pay for straight away. And we literally didn't have any money. We didn't have any savings at all. And I did not want to um, take money out of our household pot that we literally only used for absolute essentials like our bills and our food and everything like that. So I really needed to find some extra money. So um, I actually started my blog just after my birthday. And the reason is because I got some birthday money and I used some of it to buy a year's worth of hosting. And at the time it cost around about $30 and the price has gone up very slightly since then, but it's still like 30 to $50 at today's prices. It was around $30 for a year's worth of hosting at that time. So I invested this money into hosting and I bought my first domain name, which was greenthickies.com. And if starting a blog is something that you feel that you want to start with, if you like to write, and you like to help people with your writing, then I have another post which will help you get started, a blog post, and it's called 
a free three-step tutorial on how to start a blog and make money. So it's going to teach you how to start a blog and actually make money from that as well. And if you click the content piece surrounding this, this content, uh, click the blog post link, then you will scroll down within that blog post and you will get the link to that near the top. So after I paid for my domain name and hosting, I literally didn't need to buy anything else for my business until after I started making money, which was fantastic. This was the only money I literally needed to spend. So after that, I got busy blogging and I just poured all of my efforts into creating blog posts and my traffic soon shot through the roof. And after a few months, I joined an ad network and it doesn't cost you any money to join most ad networks. And the purpose of these ad networks is that they allow you to put banner ads on your website. So these banner ads are used to advertise other people's products and they automatically display within your blog post that you have created. And every time that they get seen by somebody else, you make some money. So it's a great source of passive income. You don't need to do anything. You just set them going and they automatically appear and you automatically make money, which is a fantastic source of income. So this is usually a first source of income for most bloggers when they start out. But you do need to have people visiting your website in order to make the money because if nobody sees it, you won't make any money. So you do need traffic. So during my first month, I earned during my first month of putting ads on my website, I earned $30, which covered my whole year's worth of expenses, which was fantastic. And after that, my income went absolutely sky high. My traffic went through the roof and my ad revenue went through the roof, which was amazing. And I just felt like this was such an easy way to make money. And very quickly, I decided to start selling my own products to make even more money because I now had the money to invest in this process because you do need a little bit of money to invest in your business when you are selling your own products. I, at that point, I invested in an email list provider so I could encourage people to get on my email list, send them emails and make sales through my emails. I invested in a shopping cart, which is a website that you need to invest in so that somebody can actually pay you. So it's maybe it's PayPal and it links straight, you link straight to your PayPal account, or it might be another payment provider like Stripe or something like that. But usually you need some kind of intermediary like a shopping cart where people can type in their credit card details and it connects to your payment processor and then you get the money. And I also invested in an assistant to help me to reply to customers' emails because I was getting a lot of emails at this point. So as you can see, the more money you want to make, the more money you have to pay. But I started by creating something which was free. I just chose to invest a tiny amount of money to secure my business and make things easier for myself in the long run. And this business very quickly started making six figures and I invested more, and my, more of my money back into my business. And since then, I have started numerous different businesses which all follow similar models. And as I love to teach, the teaching model suits me just fine. Using a teaching based business model is a very easy way to start a business for free because you can build up an audience for free without having to invest any money into the process. And in a minute, I'm going to show you even more ways to build businesses for free and different types of businesses, not just teaching models. But now I'm going to go through all five steps that will help you start the business of your dreams with no money. Step number one, how to set goals for your business that align with your desires. Before you even start to take some action towards setting up a new business, the very first thing you need to do is set goals. Another word for setting goals is to simply decide what you want. And if you know me at all, you will know that I am absolutely passionate about goal setting. And I'm so passionate about goal setting because it is the first step in the process of anything that I 
wrote a whole book on the subject called Stamp Goals, and you can get that on Amazon. So here are some questions that will help you decide what your goals should be. Number one, how much money do you want to make each year? Number two, what would you like to offer in exchange for the money? And number three, who would you like to become in the process? And what I suggest you do is answer these questions in reverse order as it will help you answer them more easily. So let's start with question number three. Who would you like to become in the process? And I think it's much more important to decide who you want to become because it really fuels everything else. So how would you like to feel when you are a successful business owner? The main reason that we do anything in life is to feel a certain emotion. So if you can tap into that feeling straight away, then not only will you be able to easily achieve your goals, but it will keep you motivated because you will understand exactly why you are creating a business in the first place. It's to feel successful. And also, what kind of skills would you like to learn? How would you like to grow in the process? So for example, do you want to feel excited when you get in the sales through in your business? Would you like to feel secure that you have secured your own future and you don't have to rely on a job and a fixed income? Would you like to feel helpful that you're contributing to the world? Would you like to feel confident that you're really stepping out into your purpose? And would you like to feel successful? What would you like to learn? Would you like to learn how to create blog posts, how to create videos, how to create podcasts, how to create courses, make products, manage a team, the sky's the limit. The amount of things that you learn when you are a business owner is absolutely unbelievable. Let's move on to number two. What would you like to offer in exchange for the money? What are you going to sell? Who are you going to sell it to? And I will go into this in a, a lot more detail in a minute, but I just wanted to give you an overview of how to set goals. And then finally, number three is how much money do you want to make each year? So what you need to do is calculate that the thing that you are going to sell is going to be able to make you the money that you want. And if you want to delve deeper into setting goals, I have created a free masterclass that helps you get crystal clear on three essential goals that all business owners need to set. And you can get that by going to kathkyle.com forward slash goals workshop. So let's move on to step number two, how to make a plan for business that leads to success. The next step is to build a solid plan for your business. And the, big, the biggest mistake I see business owners taking is to launch into creating a new business without first making a plan. And I'm not talking about a business plan that you need to make to satisfy the bank. I'm talking about a plan that satisfies your own requirements. You need to make sure that your desires are going to be met by the creation of this business. Otherwise, you'll be wasting so much of your time and your business is not likely to succeed. Most businesses fail because they failed to plan. And that old cliche is so true. Fail to plan, plan to fail. So how do we make a plan? A plan is just a series of decisions that you make about your business in advance. And the main purpose of a plan is so you know what actions to take next. And this gives you so much confidence and clarity. And it also helps you make a commitment to your business, which is absolutely crucial. Confidence in business is everything. And having a plan will give you this confidence that you need. Having a plan doesn't mean that you can't change your plan. It's your business at the end of the day, but you can change your plan whenever you like. I change my plan all the time. So what types of things should we plan for in our businesses? I suggest that you make plans for the following. What type of lifestyle do you want to lead so that you can make sure that your business fits into your ideal lifestyle? And what type of business would then fit into your ideal lifestyle? What type of business allows you to do the work that you love and live your purpose? What type of business would fit with your personal values? 
find a business model that is proven to work already. How are you going to be unique in the marketplace? What type of message are you bringing to the world? Who is your ideal customer? What do you want to sell to your customer? How are you going to bring your product to market? What is your method of generating traffic or interest in your product? What is your method of generating leads? What is your method of generating sales? Will you be offline, online or both? What types of marketing channels will you use? And what will your regular work involve? And these are just some of the things that I suggest you make a rough plan about before you start your business. And I actually have a list of 30 different areas that I suggest people make decisions on before starting a new business. And this is what I have always done for all of my successful businesses. When I failed to make my own business plans before starting a business, those businesses have always failed. And if you are wondering how to plan a new business, I have a free masterclass that walks you through the exact process and you can get immediate free access to this workshop by going to kathkyle.com forward slash blueprint. Step number three, how to manifest business success even if you have no money. So here's a step to starting a business that you won't find in any textbook. Manifesting business success. Yes, it is true that most businesses fail and we want to make sure that we are in the small percentage of businesses that actually succeed. So how do we do this? The simple answer is by believing wholeheartedly that this business is definitely successful. That's all manifestation is at the end of the day. It's just changing your belief systems to success belief systems. When you believe in something completely, the laws of the universe dictate that it shall be so. Changing your belief system is simple, but it's not necessarily easy. And that's because things that are worth having often take time and effort to build up. And a business definitely falls into this category. As time goes by, you will have challenges. It is guaranteed. But that is the fun of this game of life and business is another fun game that you can choose to play. And now that you know there definitely will be challenges to setting up a business and making the business a success, the best way to keep your motivation high is to invest some time in learning the process of manifestation so you can ensure your belief system remains strong. As soon as you lose faith in your business and give up on yourself, that's when you give up and it's game over for your business. So giving up is something that you need to avoid at all costs. And the fun of learning manifestation will help you keep remembering that this is a fun game and to focus unwaveringly on the end result that you desire. And if you'd like to learn more about how to use manifestation to get the success that you want and keep your belief systems in the right place, I have a free resource for you. I created the Manifest Business Success Challenge, which is free at the moment. And the content in the videos in this challenge is so good that I'm going to offer this for sale at some point in the future. So grab it for free while you can. In this challenge, I walk you through my 10 step business manifestation process and also show you how I took all 10 steps to create my first six figure business. As well as 10 in-depth video tutorials, you also get a workbook to help you work through the challenge too. And you can join the challenge by going to kathkyle.com forward slash challenge. Step number four, how to create an offer for your business with no money. When people think of businesses, they often just think in terms of creating a product and selling it, but there are actually so many different ways to make money than most people think. One business model is to offer something valuable for free, like a 
resource or education or community and then allow advertisers to advertise their products to your audience and you get paid by the advertiser not by the end user you provide value to the end user but you get paid by someone else who sells something to your end user with a model like this you can get paid for creating content and inviting advertisers to display their ads on your blog, your podcast, your videos, your community or your live events. And this is how I first started making money. This is a great way to start making money because it is so much easier to build an audience when you aren't always desperate to sell them something as it focuses your attention on giving value. It is similar to the affiliate marketing business model, which I've also used to make a lot of money in my businesses. With affiliate marketing, you focus on creating free content and then you recommend that your audience buys someone else's product to help them solve their problems. When someone buys the product that you recommend, you get a percentage of the sale value as commission. These are all examples of passive income where you create something in advance and make money passively while you are doing something else. And if you want to know how to make passive income, I have a post that shares 57 ways to make passive income called 57 passive income strategies to replace your salary. And you can go to the blog post and get the link for that. And you can also choose to give away your time in return for money. For example, you could offer coaching or consulting to give to other people, giving them your knowledge and time to help them solve their problems. Or you could offer someone a service in return for money, such as writing a blog post for someone else or helping someone to schedule their social media posts as a virtual assistant. These are all examples of active income, which involves trading your time in return for money. And it is often much easier to get started making money with active income rather than passive income. And I have another blog post that shows you 50 best active income ideas to earn money right now. And you can get the link to that within the blog post. And all of the above examples that I've shared don't require you to invest any money to make money. Once you've started to earn money using some of these methods, you can invest that money back into your business and create money with more costly methods, such as manufacturing your own products. But let's just say that you have a very specific business idea in your mind and you know it will take a lot of monetary investment to get started with this and you are so passionate about this that you only want to do this and you don't want to build this up gradually. If you need money to invest in your business and you don't have the money, the only options available to you are to ask someone else to give you the money as a gift or ask for a loan from either the bank or from other types of investors like angel investors or by doing something else to raise the money like a Kickstarter campaign where you're promising people the product after a certain period of time in return for their money up front. And if you are lacking in confidence to share your ideas with other people and ask for investments, I do suggest that you definitely start to learn about manifestation using my free challenge because in the process you will discover that you have beliefs that are holding you back and I show you exactly how to shift your beliefs so you can move on to the next level of success. Step number five, how to market and sell your offer without any money. If you have a product to sell, but no money to pay for ads to market your product, then I suggest you look into building traffic organically instead. Building traffic organically is normally free and is much more time consuming than paying for ads, but it will be much more profitable in the long term. So it's well worth investing your time into it, even if you do plan to use paid ads in the future. The method that you use to gain traffic to your products organically is by doing content marketing. 
Content marketing means that you create some valuable information and then you share it with other people. Content marketing involves doing things such as writing blog posts, recording podcasts, creating videos, creating social media posts, creating short videos, going live on social media and writing emails to your email list. And you don't have to do all of these things, but focusing on just one or two is the best way to get started with content marketing. And you might be thinking that this sounds like a lot of effort. So why not just post about your product on social media and send people directly to it? The main reason that you won't get success with this is because you have not taken the time to build up trust with people and educate them as to why they need your product. Your post about your product will simply not interest them and they won't buy your product. Once people begin to become aware of your brand through your content, they will begin to trust you that you have their best interests at heart and they will be much more interested in what you are selling. So does everybody need to use content marketing to avoid spending money on marketing? Not necessarily. There are other ways. For example, if you are able to give away your product for free without it costing you any money, like you've got a digital product and it doesn't matter how many times you give this away free or you could give away your services for free, you might be able to grow your brand that way with word of mouth and by sharing testimonials. But in my experience, if you are giving away something that is not tangible, like a course, a coaching or consulting, it's hard to even find people to take your offer for free. So why wouldn't someone want to take a free product that was offered to them? Because often they will also be required to give up something of value like their time. And if they don't trust you because you don't have a social media following or you don't have any content or because you don't have any previous testimonials, it is very unlikely that people are going to want to invest their precious time into something that they know nothing about. So that's why content marketing is such a great idea to help businesses grow a secure and sustainable business. This is what I've always done and it's worked fantastically well for me. You might notice that a lot of businesses use many of these methods to grow their brand. They do content marketing, they give away products for free, and they also use paid advertising. But if you have no money, content marketing is a great starting point that will definitely lead to success for you. And I hope you can see how valuable it is to create content to help start the business of your dreams with no money. And you might be wondering, how does content actually help you to sell your products? How do you lead people from your free content to your paid content? It's so easy to get caught up in the content creation cycle of just creating content piece after content piece and then wonder why you're not seeing any extra revenue as a result. And I know exactly how this feels. And once I learned how to make every single piece of content convert into sales, it changed everything for my business. I am now one of those people who make money in my sleep and I want to share all of my secrets with you to help you do the same. So are you ready to create content that gets you sales on autopilot? I want to share my exact formula to help you create binge worthy social media posts, blog posts, podcasts and videos that constantly convert your audience into customers without you having to be salesy or pushy. So I have created a free video tutorial called Constantly Converting Content. And this is taken directly from my premium program, Dream Business Blueprint. This in-depth tutorial gives you the real reason why you're not making any sales from your content the secret to categorizing your content for constant conversions so you never waste time creating content that doesn't lead to a sale again. My exact four-step formula for leading people from your free content to buying your products. 
and the method for creating a call to action at the end of your content that people just have to follow and a step-by-step -step checklist walking you through the 13 elements of constantly converting content and I also give you my exact script swipe file as an example of my own constantly converting content and break down exactly how it's used. And you can get this tutorial free for a limited time only by going to kathkyle.com forward slash lesson. And next time I'm sharing some of my big mistakes spiritual entrepreneurs are making. So make sure that you subscribe to my podcast, Manifest Business Success, my YouTube channel, Kath Kyle, and follow me on Instagram at Kath underscore Kyle so you don't miss that. And I will also let you know via email when my next piece of content has arrived. And I'm currently giving away four brand new gifts every month to my email subscribers. So don't miss that. And you can subscribe by opting into any of my free gifts, such as my free Manifestation Milestones board pack. This free Manifestation Milestones board pack is the ultimate motivator to help you manifest more business success. From this one pack, you can create both a vision board and an achievement board to help you feel good about what you've already achieved and manifest even more. And this Manifestation Milestones board printable pack will help you recognize and celebrate all of the amazing milestones and goals you are achieving in your business, which is so exciting. And you can get that by going to kathkyle.com forward slash milestones. And now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.